Thank you to all the volunteers who inspect robots at Vex IQ tournaments. This video is here to show you that inspecting is easy. We'll show you step by step how to do it. You got this. Steam, please. Hi, can I have your team number? It's 0 0 0 0 and you're in middle school? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You only have one robot? Yeah. Yep. Okay, you don't have any spare or replacement robots. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, you did all of this with little to no help from adult mentors? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, can I see your Vex IQ competition license? Yeah, we have just all that. Do you have a license? Okay. Okay, uh... you're going to need a license plate in order to compete in this competition. Um, can you pass your robot through the sizing? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna check the back to make sure that it doesn't go over this wall. Remember, you have to use the beam to make sure you drag it over the outer edge of the wall until make, to make sure it all passes. Okay, so your starting configuration is good. Now I'm gonna see your expansion, okay? Uh oh, it doesn't seem like um, the expansion passes because it goes over this bar. So we're gonna, you guys are going to need to fix your expansion, okay? Okay. I'm not going to check that. Um, this is only made from official Vex IQ components? Yep. Good. Um, do you have any decorations on the robot? Okay, yeah. well we do have this piece of paper at the back. Okay, does that affect the robot performance? No. Okay. Um, do you have only six Vex IQ smart movies? Yeah, we have two over here. Two for the dump and two for the driver. Okay, pause. Remember, you always have to make sure that you check how many motors they have because you can't always take two for their work. Okay, cool. Um, you only use one Vex IQ battery. Yep. Okay. Um, can you modify any pieces with the exception of cutting metal shafts or new data to it? No. Good. Um, do you have any intentionally detachable components? No. Okay, good. Um, you only have one X Vex IQ brain which connects with the Vex IQ controller? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, your Vex IQ firmware is up to date? Yep. Okay, good. And you only have two pneumatic air tanks and one pneumatic air tank. Um, so, you guys are going to have to fix your license plate and your expansion configuration, okay? So if you want to complete this competition. So, I will give you, you on your way to the next okay? Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Here's my fault. Okay. See, this is an example of a passing robot. If you pass a robot through the measuring module, and it passes through cleanly without any piece of breaking off. You can see that the width is good for inspection. Now, you have to take a beam and run it across this outer edge of the wall here. If no components of the robot stick out, then that's all good. Now, you want to take the same beam and run it along the outer edge of this one. You have to also have to make sure that no components stick out. If there are components that stick out, it's not clear for inspection. You also have to take into consideration any expanding parts on the robot. If, there, if the expanding parts on the robot exceed the size constraints, then it's not clear for inspection. So I can see that um, you meet all the requirements for inspection today. Can you sign your name on the paper here? Good. Now, can you give this to your coach to sign here and bring it back to me, please? Okay, good. Thank you. Also, you have to remember to circle the pass. If you don't circle the pass, then they technically didn't pass. So I circled the pass and you're all good to go. Thank you. Uh, if you if you're unsure about a decision on inspecting, you might need to call the head ref for help. Head ref, can you come here? Oh, um, I need some help inspecting this. Okay, let's see. Yes, this does go through. This team is good to go. Okay. Then you know then you're good inspecting. We thought inspecting was a scary task before you watched this video, and now you watch this video, we hope that you think it's not such a scary task anymore. Remember, the checklist is 90% of the work, and you do 10% of the work. We hope you like this video, and remember to share this with other inspectors. Bye, thanks for watching.